this little bull can get some explosion and get some leaping and kicking, this could get real interesting, real good. Oh. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. A very right, right, right. unorthodox and dangerous dismount for Dalen. Dixie Explosion had just enough pop to get him off just under six. Well, everything's going Dalen's way right here, and you see he's going to move that outside foot, start opening up, and then the bull leaps forward and kicks, just brings him all at once. He just does a dance over the top of him. Lucky he didn't step on him. But you notice, he tried him all the way to the green, never touched him with his free hand. This kid's got grit and toughness, and rides bareback horses really well, too. That's why the re-ride pen is set up. We're back to Luciano de Castro. Copperhead Road does enough to get Luciano off the path to success. And it's an 0 for 2 weekend for the number seven rider in the world. I sure didn't see this coming. I thought this would be a good matchup, but I also thought this bull would turn back right here to the left and stay hooked up. But you see, he gets a little close with his head to the shoots there. So he decides to go back the other way, catches Luciano off guard, rips him out of here. Almost looked like Luciano looked at the ground just a little bit when he got in a bind. Joe's birthday cake. He's got, a, he's got a job ahead of him, but this could be good right here. Oh, he's hipped himself. He's going to go back the right way from his hand. Butter touches at 4.5. You mentioned the fact that you thought Birthday Cake hipped himself. Do you feel it's going to warrant a rewrite? Well, I hear the whistle blowing in there, the sirens. They may be trying to get it. It's under review. I don't know that it caused the buck off again. It, it's a fine. It's it's a fine line, and you got to. It's it's a judgment call. But this bull did hip himself. He hit himself pretty hard. And he turns him back. Now is he? He's still right in the middle, right here. Everything's good. He's sitting right where he wants to be. He's made him two two almost full jumps and almost a complete go around right there. It'd be hard for me as a judge to give him a re-ride. Yeah, but I feel like he's settling in nicely right now. He's going back to the one right bull, letting his body do the work for him. And uh, he just slapped him right there, but go ahead and finish this off. Hey, hey. Well, it's Bugle Boy who makes the noise in this matchup, and Shorty gave you everything right there. The analysis, the call of the touch, and then unfortunately Mitchell could not finish. But Bugle Boy, just a good day at the office. Yeah, this is a good bull from, from Blake Sharp and the gang, and uh, has a big jump out there and just brings him down a little bit tight there, and he slaps him with that free arm. Now his concentration's broke. Now he's wanting to go ahead and make the ride, but he just overrides him the next jump. And in left, they're game on. There's the nine. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Guess what? That bull is named perfectly because the gate swung open and wham, bam, bye bye, Barbosa. That one's over at 1.2. Thank two. you, ma'am. <laughs> I re reckon Lucas told him about that jump. Oh. Just hop, skip, and then just cracks him and whips him down over his head. Good thing that horn wasn't about six inches longer. He might have wrapped him around it. Absolutely. See, he's sitting flat and then just takes all that shock right on the end of that arm. And either your hand comes out and you go out the back or it stays in and you go over the front. Hey everybody, Matt West here. Thanks for watching the PBR's YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to catch all the top moments from the professional bull riders. While you're at it, make sure you download the Ride Pass app and catch all of the PBR action today.